Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Good night. <laughs> uh, so thank you for being here. Uh, I'm Pietro. I'm co-founder of Smarters. We are an artificial intelligence company, and we have been developing uh, for messenger platforms since the beginning. Can you hear me? Okay, everybody. Okay. Uh, so today. Uh, I'm going to talk about our journey, our challenges, and our solutions. What we did and why today we are developing for the Messenger platform. Okay? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that many, many of you are developers, so I hope you enjoy. First, uh, before I start to talking, ab uh, talking about our journey, uh, I would like to give you some advice. Choose wisely your co-founders. I'm very lucky to have those two guys by my side. Uh, it will help a lot during the journey. We have been friends since we, we were eight years old. And uh, our journey, uh, it began in, in 1999 when we created our first web solution company. Uh, long story short, we sold this company in 2010 and then we got back together in 2013 to found Smarters and to explore more about artificial intelligence. So, uh, at the beginning of the company in 2013, we wanted to develop a tool to help people um, to enjoy the best of life. So we started by developing a recommendation engine to suggest new products, services, discounts, best offers, benefits, and so on. But, and, and for, for our recommendation engine that time, we are using a Facebook Graph API as the main source of data. But as we always believed that messaging would be uh, the future uh, and it will help us to humanize our uh, recommendation, we, we think why not do it during a conversation? Why not give some recommendations during a conversation. And that's what we did. Uh, there was no messenger back there in 2013 until 2015. Uh, and we developed our, our own chat platform running on the browser. And back that, and back that time, there was no NLP engine running for Portuguese. So we built our own NLP for Portuguese as well. And then this product, we launched our MVP of this tool. It was a tool that you go to, you went to our website, you log in with using Facebook, you, you can choose one of the characters and it will give some recommendation for you during the conversation. And as I said, at, in January of 2016, we launched our MVP. And back then, uh, we caught the attention of some Brazilian technology press and some companies as well. We were a B2C product. We built our product for the people, not for the companies. But suddenly, uh, the phone started to ring. And we gave some uh, interviews. We talked to some companies. Because back in, in the, at the beginning of 2016, uh, artificial intelligence uh, was becoming mainstream. Uh, and then we launched our MVP in January. But as you know, it's hard to launch a B2C product. It's hard to scale, it's hard to monetize. And then came this day. Do you remember what happened this day? 
I do, because at that time, uh, all I could think about is how to survive, how to monetize, how to scale our B2C product, and it was very hard. This day was launched the Messenger platform. And for us, it was a very special day because we look at each other and we said, uh, that's our shot. And uh, maybe we are a little bit ahead because our, because our chat platform is already working. And so remember those calls from companies? We returned one of those calls. Uh, we called the head of Shop Facil, which is a, a big Brazilian marketplace. And we said to him, hey, do you want to, to be the first Brazilian uh, marketplace to have a messenger experience? And they said yes, and it all began. Three months later, we was launching Shop Facil's uh, messenger experience. But there was no messenger experience for retail back then. There was no benchmark. How can we do it? The first thing that we thought was like, uh, okay, so this is a retail, so we have to sell. If we have to sell, people need to finish the purchase. Uh, and we didn't have Facebook payments in Brazil, and we still don't. So we decided to build our own payment solution that allowed Shopfacil's customers to buy it without leaving the messenger thread. Uh, and I'm not talking about the web view. Let me show you. The, the, the initial idea was to build uh, a solution with the payment, uh, with the checkout experience. The e-commerce platform, uh, the e-commerce platform, uh, once uh, I heard, uh, I received a call from the, from, the, from the founder, and he told me, uh, I don't know if you can make it, because I don't know how you are going to integrate with all our APIs. N no one ever did this. So, Three months and 10 APIs later, we launched, I will translate for you guys, I want to buy something from Facebook. This is the, the messenger experience. And the chatbot will understand the, the intent, extract the entity, uh, will search for, for the search API from the e-commerce platform and show the products. And when the customer received the, the product, uh, they are able to click on the buy, buying button. And as we are integrated with all the transactional APIs, it begins. So I already had two credit cards uh, storage at the e-commerce platform. I can choose one of them. Uh, these are my, uh, my addresses from my home and from my office, so I choose one of them. So here uh, I choose, the, the chatbot informed me how, about the deliver, how many days. And to finish, I have to text my CVV code. No, uh, no payment information is passing through smarters or passing through Messenger. They, we, we take this information and we save via API into the e-commerce platform. And they, they, are, they are the ones that process the payment. So, the customer are able to finish the purchase. Another example of this, uh, the same chatbot, 
humanizing the experience was the key, okay? So, we knew that nobody wants to talk with the bag. <laughs> so we decided to create some characters to humanize the artificial intelligence. And the customer can choose one of them. All of them have their own way of, of speaking, uh, uh, and, they, and, and they can suggest different things based on the, the customer profile. So we did this to humanize uh, the experience. So we have our mantra, you know, we can always turn limitation into innovation. So this is a, a very important for us because sometimes you don't have the tools you need to build your own. And when you are trying to innovate and become the first one to do something, you don't have references. So be the pioneer yourself. This is very important, guys, because the Messenger platform will provide us the building blocks. But we have to take these building blocks and build whatever we want. And we can do that. Then came this year, 2017, the year of the hype. Uh, so a lot of companies get in contact with us. Oh, we need a messenger experience. But a big part of them, they didn't understand why they need a messenger experience. It was the beginning. They are trying to get to the hype. So we thought, it's time to surf the hype, the hype, and get a lot of customers. We decided not to. We believe that for you to thrive during the hype, you don't need to get as much customers you, you can. You have to have partners. You have to find those ones that are aligned to your vision. Because working with guys like this, you can go for. And then for us, it was a very special year because we decided to build the structure of our platform for then be able to scale. And talking about the structure, in this year, we decide to build our own methodology with 11 steps for starting in the beginning till the end of the deliver of the experience. This way, we can have more control in what we, in what we were doing. Uh, we can be more productivity and more, have more transparency with our team and our customers as well. This, uh, we, are, we are developers. We love to build. But there is one thing that we cannot forget to build. Relationships. Relationships, it's important. You have to bring your customers closer to your company. You have to turn them into your partners. They have to be part of it. You, you need to have an open dialogue with your competitors. You will see how much you can evolve during this process. And you can, every customer that we had we learn a thousand things. And they are the ones who gave us the opportunity to innovate. So I'm going to show you two of those customers, partners that we have. The first one is Saval. Saval is a group of 14 dealerships in Brazil. 
working with six cars brands. For them, we developed an experience to automate their whole regular maintenance scheduling system. Let me show you. Here we have some sound in Portuguese. How is your Portuguese, guys? So the customer is calling to schedule an appointment of regular maintenance. So we develop an IVR deflection using SMS and we take the customer out of the phone call and send to Messenger for the customer start to schedule the regular main maintenance. So the, the customer is able to choose the service. Uh, then as we are integrated with many APIs from the government, we are able to collect some information from the license plate. And we are also connected with APIs from the automakers to understand uh, if this car has some other issue from another dealer. And we are also connected to the dealership management system. So just by collecting the license plate information, the customer are able, uh, is able to finish this appointment in, I don't know, maybe one minute. And we take this customer out of the phone call. You can choose. Here we are integrated with the calendar from the, this uh, dealership. And when the customer choose the day, we can show the, the available for the appointment, the av available time for the appointment. And that's it. And then you can keep engaging this customer uh, and ask him, okay, so do you, can I save this information in your calendar to let you know when will be this uh, appointment? And you will see that we'll, I will receive an invite. Just, okay. Fully integrated with everything. Thirty percent of all scheduling is made by the messenger experience. This dealership, uh, this this solution generates more than one million dollars last year for the dealership without human interference. No human in the process, okay? Another example. For a great partners of us, Promart, a Peruvian home improvement company with 29 physical stores and an e-commerce website. Their purpose is to support Peruvian families to achieve their dream home. And they believe it that having an automated experience on Messenger would very helpful to fulfill this mission. So at the e-commerce, e they sell furniture, okay? So here I'm going to show you an example which by the integration of four different features, the Messenger experience is able to help the customer during this omni-channel journey. First, we develop our own image recognition feature. We create a neural network for that. Uh, then, the customer can get to the right product 
and he can, he can check the stock of the product. But he can check the stock for each store. Uh, I sent my location from my office in Brazil for a chatbot for, from Peru. So let's see what happened. But uh, now I can see the stock for each store. And if I click in como llegar, which means how to get to the store, we developed an integration and the customer can choose, use Google Maps or Waze to get to the store. So I can drive 50 hours <laughs> and get to the store <laughs> in Peru. <laughs> So as you can see, this is an omni-channel uh, solution. And by the end, if the customer wants, he can answer a satisfaction survey. Messenger experience are very powerful solutions to get feedback from your customers. So, yeah. Another example from Promart. This one, we also develop an IVR deflection using SMS. Here, the customer is calling to check the delivery status of the purchase. Uh, and the difference between this one and the last one is that in this experience, we will collect the ID from the customer in the IVR and pass through the messenger experience and when the customer arrive in messenger he doesn't need to to type again and to text again the, the id so you have those all those numbers received an sms go directly into the messenger thread And that's it. You don't, have, you don't need to ask again for the ID because you collect during the IVR experience and you pass through the chatbot with our integration. So the customer are able to see in, in a few seconds all the information that he needs. As results, we have a conversion rate uh, in the experience five times bigger than the conversion rate at the, the website. And now, 27% 27, 27 of all customers are served by the messenger experience. Be uh, all because this, that solution using the IVR. So, and as we are all developers and uh, speaking as how the messenger platform uh, impacts our business and your business, uh, we were three guys watching FA through streaming in 2016. Uh, and uh, we believe that we have a shot and one, only one shot because we were three people. So when I, when I talk today with my partners, if we decided at that time to develop, a, I don't know, maybe five, 10 experience, I don't know if we, we could make it, but we decided to develop one experience with the whole features 
uh, that we we, we think will uh, help a retail in Brazil. So we develop the, the payment, we develop the image recognition, uh, we integrate it with some APIs for speech to text, text to speech. We um, we we integrated with IVR solutions, and today we we are we have more 30 people back in Brazil working with us, and and we will just keep pushing the, and and building great things and and trying to be uh, a good example for everyone that saw a little bit of themselves in our history. So now uh, I'm going to open for a Q&A if you have some questions. Anyone? Oh, you do. Congratulations, amazing story. Thank you. Uh, what did you use to integrate with the IVR and then send the text message and, and do that whole uh, piece that you showed for the car dealership? Yes. Uh, to integrate with the IVR, at the in the SMS messaging, you can find a URL. That URL uh, is generated by the IVR solution. So uh, we develop uh, HTML script, and we insert in that URL, and we give we gave that URL to the IVR. Uh, solution for all, all, all of them can, we, uh, we gave the URL to them and we said uh, when the customer uh, calls you can send this SMS with this text and this URL and as this URL is uh, it has one of our scripts, HTML script we are able to uh, look uh, if the customer is on mobile or desktop, and we can uh, see if the customer has a messenger app downloaded. And uh, we insert a payload because for the for the our platform, when our platform receives this payload from the webhook we are able to direct the customer to the, uh, the correct point of the flow. That's, okay. Oh. Hi, uh, congratulations on your amazing demo. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what NLP services are you using? Are you using your own NLP or are you using some other in the market like Dialogflow or bit.ai? Yes. Uh, we are using our own NLP uh, and that's because in 2013 when we began there were there was no NLP for Portuguese so we have to develop our own uh, and now three years later we are very proud of our NLP for Portuguese it is also working for Spanish and English uh, and we are very proud of the, our technology. Is it open for developers? Uh, not today, okay. uh, but maybe. We, we are thinking about it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That's it. Yes. So if you go to a client, sorry, I didn't have a client. How would you introduce yourself to that client? Sorry, I didn't hear you. So if you went to a client like that uh, home improvement client, would you say the same thing? We're an AI company, or, or how would you introduce yourself to that kind of client? Uh, I think um, at bottom line, I will introduce myself as as a AI company. Uh, as AR, as uh, AR has, I don't know, maybe 13 categories, you have uh, 
NLP and others. We have developed for AI our NLP, but we also have our, our recommendation engines that are are using uh, AI too. So I I introduce myself as a AI okay. company, but then I'll explain that I'm focused on developing messenger experience with where I will use my NLP and my recommendation engines to to improve the experience. That's it. Thank you guys. Have a great afternoon.